keep cool. <laughs> I told you not to say this, Ron Paul, but anyway, here we go. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you'd do it anyway. Here we go. Ron Paul, I, I was going to mention it, but Congressman Ron Paul finished first with 31% support. Congressman Ron Paul won the straw poll vote at that convention uh, for president. Well, that Ron Paul, his supporters may not be all that numerous. CPAC straw poll is not always such a great indicator about who's actually going to get the GOP presidential nomination. I mean, these straw polls don't mean very much anyway. This was not a scientific poll. Non-scientific straw poll. Non-scientific poll. Interestingly, as we looked into the numbers, 48% of all the people who voted described themselves as students. Evidently, there were, you know, busloads of Ron Paul supporters College organized students. to go to that convention. <laughs> but, I mean, more than half the people at CPAC were under age 25. All the serious, more conventional. Uh, 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 candidates will be able to say, well, look, this straw poll isn't serious because Ron Paul won. Ron Paul's never going to be the, the front runner. He's never going to be the nominee. So that's why I say the politics, the politicians are kind of incidental. They're not going to win back the youth fully. It's going to be the culture warriors, the Glenn Becks, the Ann Coulters, uh, you guys. Well, I guess you guys here, Fox and Friends, you're, not, you're just good people. What do you make of Ron Paul winning the straw poll? Not much. Ron Paul is certainly out of the mainstream in many ways, not just with the country, but with the Republican mainstream. I'm not sure that there's any force that galvanizes, that comes together and says, we, this is what we stand for. This is me like the revolution is alive and well. Yeah. <laughs> to me, to be a conservative means to conserve the good parts of America and to conserve our Constitution. Yeah. 1913 gave us the income tax, the 16th Amendment, and the IRS. And what's wrong with getting rid of the income tax and the 16th Amendment? I think it'd be a great idea. I do take the position that we should just end the Fed. There's nothing wrong with being a conservative and come up with a conservative belief in foreign policy where we have a strong national defense and we don't go to war so carelessly. What is not conservative about saying, don't go to war unless we go to war properly with a full declaration of war and no other way? Liberty is the purpose of government, to protect liberty, not to run your personal lives, not to run the economy, and not to pretend that we can tell the world how they ought to live. <laughs> and we have now endorsed the principle of preventive war. Another term for preventive war is aggressive war, starting wars because someday somebody might do something to us. That is not part of the American tradition. But we all ought to be together that you have a right of dissent and you should never be put in prison for dissenting. Personal liberty is the purpose of government, to protect liberty, not to run your personal lives, not to run the economy, and not to pretend that we can tell the world how they ought to live. conservative viewpoint and not true conservatism. But there is nothing wrong with you being a conservative and saying the Republican conservative tradition not too long ago, as recent as year 2000, we won elections by saying we should be the policemen of the world and that we should be nation building. And it's time we got those values back into this country. I have more support from the military than any other one candidate during a campaign. Together because I know we want what is best for America. If we work together and are a bit more tolerant, I believe we can achieve it. Thank you very much. We wish Mr. Paul the best, by the way. We're not mocking him.